Let me lay out some context. This video is a 2018 Ford Fusion 1.5 liter EcoBoost with coolant intrusion at 18,000 miles, but it was such little coolant intrusion, it never really affected the oil or anything like that. Uh, this customer, three oil changes in 18,000 miles, but they never drove the vehicle. They thought changing the oil once a year would be sufficient enough. Well. Let me show you what happens when you change the oil once a year. Job April 9th of 2021. So they didn't they they probably didn't even have this this vehicle a full three years and it only had three oil changes. And this lady is a stay-at-home mom that barely even drives her vehicle. One oil change a year and every five thousand miles. And I tell people all the time, do not go by that do not go by once a year do not go by this 5,000 mile stuff if you barely drive your vehicle you need to service the oil at least twice a year some I mean really I'd like to see the oil serviced every five months but at least twice a year if you're in town driving you're not doing a lot of highway driving and stuff 3,000 miles if you're doing a lot of idle time and stuff like that 3,000 miles if you're short tripping the vehicle a lot 3,000 miles if you're more highway but you do have a substantial amount of short tripping going on during your your weekend time and stuff like that that you're not at work 4,000 miles and if you're on the highway all the time I wouldn't go more than 5,000 miles that's it done clear cut do not do anything more than that those service intervals are Bible with EcoBoost engines turn it off don't rebuttal me don't do anything I've done enough of these these engines to know exactly what's going on there ain't no 7,000 miles 6,000 mile junk you want three four hundred thousand miles out of it if you can get it out of it follow these recommendations a lot of short trip driving no highway driving or anything at all you barely get the vehicle out and stretch its legs 3,000 miles or every five to six months the oil needs to be changed bottom line no discussion about that I don't care who what oil you're using done I don't want to hear it 4,000 miles for mainly highway with some short tripping and stuff. You know, in town on the weekends, a little bit of idling here and there. If you're on the highway every day and that vehicle is literally running Monday to Friday, Monday to Saturday, and you're, you know, you're cruising 70 mile an hour, and that's the daily life of that vehicle, you could get 5,000 miles out of it. And you're probably fine. This particular vehicle right here has 18,000 miles in three years and the oil only gets changed once a year and it barely goes anywhere this is what this engine looks like it is terrible look at the bottom oil control ring at the end of this video where I show you exactly what it looks like it's almost completely plugged up on top of that if the coolant intrusion had not just started and I caught it and she would have went another 30,000 miles can you imagine what this engine would look like it would be trash she would have probably lost the engine. Instead, I was able to get the engine covered under warranty, replace the short block because of coolant intrusion. Be smart, guys. Here's the video. You, Some of you have already seen this video, but for those of you that haven't, here you go. Okay, so this right here is the start of me actually tearing this engine apart. It, you know, it's got a, it's out of the vehicle, the block's off of it, the trans is sitting there, I'm waiting to come in with a new block after I start rebuilding everything. And this is a once a year, 5,000 mile type thing. This is uh, this is what I'm talking about. This, this is not acceptable. Look inside this engine and you'll see all the sludge and slime build up in the bottom of this. And a lot of you would say, oh, that's because, you know, uh, it, the engine the engine was cold when you shut it off no some of this stuff has been sitting down there for quite a while you'll see the piston oil control ring here in a little bit and then uh that'll make you retract some of your statements that you would typically say because i, I do this stuff all the time you can even see the varnish starting to build up inside the oil pan um let's actually pick up the pan and take a look at it i'm pointing over to the block telling you i'm going to pull a piston out of it uh, so you can see the oil control ring and the piston Normally, I'm not obligated to pull anything with the block apart. I just put it back in the container and I ship it back and then rebuild the new block. But here we go. The sediment, a little bit of sediment build up down there. Slime, sludge. You can see particle pieces over to the right on the ridge of that pan. I mean, it's 
it's starting the early stages of it would have been severe sludge buildup inside this engine because of this once a year 5,000 mile once a year type oil change it's junk and I don't know what we're talking about right now because I wanted to turn all the shop noise and stuff off and just voice over I think I'm talking about um, what happens with the oil control ring when it gets coked up and it can't scrape the cylinder walls and stuff anymore and pull that oil back down into the pan and then it starts burning it. Well, here's the, the piston out of the engine. It's got a lot of coking, a lot of carbon buildup. The oil control ring is really, really bad. A lot of the passages through it are completely plugged up with slime. This thing is not doing good at all. And, uh, yeah, it's got an oil jet on the bottom. You, that's why you see one side is clean and the other side is dirty. There's the clean side. The other side is the dirty side. It would have been nice if they would have put an oil jet on both sides so they could have kept that uh, cylinder evenly cooled on both sides instead of one and just relying on heat transfer or relying on the cool side to pull from the, the hot side. This piston was in really bad shape at 18,000 miles and only being a couple years old. And that's, you know, all comes down to lack of maintenance and engine design. These are very dirty engines. They need to be serviced more often. A lot of people need to realize these EcoBoost engines, that's exactly what they are. They're just literally dirty engines. And this is me being stupid. I tried to take a screenshot while I was doing the video, so that's what you're seeing here. Um, and that's me kind of capturing the piston itself so I could actually show you guys and zoom in on what it exactly looks like. And I'll show you the picture right now.